students now uh, we will see few more problems where the top view and uh, front view distance are given from where we have to arrive at the true length and uh, true inclinations so uh, these kind of problems are again uh, uh, little uh, in, uh, indirect problems but very easy to solve and the line a line pq 60 mm long has its end p right it is uh, first end is p 15 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp its top and the front view measures 50 mm and 40 mm respectively draw its projections and determine the true inclinations with hp and vp so we, we need to find its uh, a true inclination so theta and phi so one end is 15 mm above hp and uh, 20 mm in front of vp so we mark the first end without any problem uh, that is p dash and uh, p and uh, this is the front view right so front view is given its front view is 50 mm right sorry top view is 50 mm and front view is 40 mm so p q right so this is uh, q2 dash right this is uh, q2 dash and this is 40 mm right on this line right on this line we we are going to get the 60 mm line so this is 60 mm so this is the top view q1 so this is our q1 so this is uh, 50 mm 50 mm so from p dash with the 60 mm radius you cut an arc you will get a q1 dash straight away so you will get the locus of q dash locus of q dash and similarly you cut the arc right from uh, p right you cut the arc right with same 60 mm as radius right so this will be your q2 so this is your q2 and you are getting the locus of q straight away here so now uh, now if you get these two locus lines and uh, q dash uh, q1 and q2 dash it is your duty to rotate right so uh, that becomes your last step so this is uh, very simple and rotate this p as center p q1 as radius rotate this up to locus of q uh, this will be your q so this is pq uh, that is final top view <clears throat> same 50 mm we are showing it with angle right so with the actual position and uh, now p dash and q2 dash as radius p dash as center draw the arc and get the q dash and this is your final front view final elevation and this is theta and this is phi i am getting theta equal to 32 degree phi equal to 48 degree and uh, uh, all dimensions are in mm you have to mention so please cross check this answer if any other answer you are getting please uh, let me know so this is uh, the type of problem where uh, we have plan and elevation distances from which we are arriving at the true inclinations so next problem also similar kind of problem a line a b 60 mm long has its end a 30 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp the top view and front view of the uh, has a length of 40 mm and 55 mm respectively drives projections so it is also uh, very similar to earlier problem the top view and front view distance are given so top view is 40 mm front view is 55 mm right so this is xy line and one end is 30 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp and we can mark a dash and a without any problem so we are getting the fixed point a dash and a and this is the front view front view is 55 mm so this is your q2 dash so this is your b2 b2 p2 dash and this is the 55 mm and the top view is q uh, that is b1 this is b1 and this is this length is 40 mm 40 mm and similarly uh, a, a true length is known that is 60 mm cut the arc and uh, you will get the b2 and uh, similarly here this is the this is your uh, 60 mm 60 mm this becomes your locus of b and similarly a dash as center with 60 mm as radius cut an arc here that that becomes b1 dash and uh, straight away you obtain the locus of b dash right and now a as center a b1 as radius cut the arc you will get the b and this is a b 
and similarly a dash b2 dash as radius a as center cut the arc you will get the b2 sorry b dash so this is the final front view and final top view and uh, we, we, you know nothing is um, to be measured here nothing is asked in the question so no need to measure anything so draw the projections correctly correctly and show it in in, in proper order you will be getting full marks so this is uh, the 15th question so in uh, 16th question a line ef 85 mm long has its end e 25 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp the plan and elevation of the line measures 55 mm and 70 mm respectively draw the projections of the line and find its true inclinations with hp and vp so theta and phi we need to find right so true length is given and uh, the top view right top view and uh, front view is given that is top view is 55 mm uh, front view is 70 mm so with this data we can proceed in the same steps that we proceeded in earlier case so this is our 25 mm and this is our 20 mm we are getting e dash and this becomes e so we are getting the first point first fixed point so this is the f2 so this is 70 mm front view right and uh, top view is 55 mm you measure for 55 mm so that is f2 dash and f1 we obtain from f1 you draw the thin line you will get uh, the true length line here so from e dash as center on this f1 line right so this is your f1 dash so this is your f1 dash and this is the locus of f dash right so this is 85 mm the length is true length is 85 mm locus of f dash similarly e dash as center 85 mm as radius cut the arc and draw the line and this becomes f2 and this line is your uh, locus of f so draw the arc e dash as center f2 dash as radius right and draw the arc and you will get the final front view and here you you can draw the arc right e as center e f1 as radius draw the arc and draw the thick line you will get the final projection and the theta phi you can measure right those two we need to find so i am getting 50 degree uh, theta phi equal to 35 degree uh, so please cross check this answer students so uh, the next problem of uh, similar kind a, a, the plan and elevation of a line a b are inclined at 35 degrees and 50 degrees to x y reference line so that is uh, the 35 degrees is a plan right is that is uh, uh, the beta alpha is 50 mm alpha is 50 mm and beta is 35 uh, degree 50 degree and 35 degree to x y reference line respectively one end of the line is touching both hp and vp so uh, a is on hp and vp so a and a dash both are lying on the same x y reference line right the other end is 50 mm above hp right 50 mm above hp find its true length and true angle of inclinations with hp and vp so theta and phi also we need to find the true length also we need to find so this is a dash a dash and a both are lying on the same x y reference line since a is touching uh, the vp and hp right so this is the distance and that is 50 mm uh, the uh, plan uh, sorry the elevation is at 50 degree and the elevation distance is not known but the other end is at 50 uh, mm right so that becomes your locus of b dash so at 50 degree right you draw a line till it touches this b locus of b dash that becomes your final b sorry b dash a dash b dash this is your front view so now straight away you have obtained your uh, front view right so this is b dash now we have to rotate right we have to rotate right so this is this is another uh, another line so we know that b dash and b should lie on the same projector right so with this with that clue right we can proceed and we can easily get a b also right so at 35 degrees we have b right so this is our b so this becomes our locus of b 
so now the problem is very simple right we can uh, easily rotate in reverse order reverse direction and we can get the corresponding true length right it is very simple now and uh, rotate a dash and b dash right up to the locus of a a dash a dash so this becomes your b2 dash so this is your b2 dash right b2 dash now from b2 you drop down a line till it meets this locus of b right so this becomes your b2 so now a the a and b2 is your true length so this is your true length line right so now similarly this is your true length line now you can proceed in two ways right so you you can uh, you know the true length now right you can uh, you can cut the arc or you can cut the arc directly and you can uh, get it otherwise you can rotate the top view right you can rotate the top view up to locus of a right so this is your b1 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 so now b1 if you draw a line right if you b1 if you draw a line this is your true length line so it will be same as this true length right so you can cross check your answer also right now you are getting b1 in this way right so by rotating you can get r once you know the true length you can cut the arc and you can get it in both ways you can proceed in this problem right so this is your a dash and b1 dash so now i can measure everything from here and true length i am getting 73 mm theta i am getting 43 degrees and phi i am getting 25 degrees so please uh, cross check your answer students and uh, this is the kind of problem where uh, we know the true uh, that is the plan and elevation distances right with this uh, we can proceed right so few more problems we will uh, discuss further right